other questions less directly related to our current tax bill, but which learning income tax law can help us to understand and answer include, how should we judge our government? What is the purpose of government? What should government do? These are questions that we may, and I would argue have an obligation to, understand as citizens and acting citizens of a democratic republic. And you might be saying, hey, look, those kinds of questions, the tax code is just like a small component of those kinds of questions. But I would argue that you can do far worse in understanding a civilization than to understand the tax code. In other words, whether you're talking about our current civilization, other civilizations within our current time or those in the past, understanding the tax code can tell you a whole lot about the values of that civilization. So when we're applying it to ourselves, we, where we are at at this place in time, questions such as how big should our government be? Should it be growing or should we be uh, retracting the government? And what's going to be the difference or how can we delineate the powers possibly between a federal government and the state and local governments? What should the government be spending the money on? What kinds of things are better served, better done by the government? What kind of things are better served and better done by uh, the market? So these are types of questions that, of course, the tax code is very intimately related to. You also have questions such as justice and what is fair, because when we talk about the tax code, we're talking in part about the distribution of economic resources. What kind of economic system do we have here? Do we have a market-based economic system or a redistributory-based economic system? When you have these kind of arguments, oftentimes politicians will use very vague language such as, we want a tax code that is fair. We want a tax code that is just. When you hear politicians saying that, it's often because they're being quite misleading with those terms because the words fair and just are doing all the work. There is nobody that will argue to have an unjust tax system. No one's gonna disagree with a just tax system or a fair tax system. People will disagree and have arguments on legitimate debate about what the term just and fair means when applied to tax law. And so those are some ideas or things that we might want to keep in mind when we're thinking about tax preparation because it makes things a little bit more interesting and, it, and it again helps us to do kind of our civic duty type of stuff as well.